Park fam. We're on our way to Atlanta Dragway. We got Frostbite loaded up behind us and we have a little bit of a treat. My neighbor just got him a toy. He got him a little race truck. He's got an old square body Chevy that has been completely pretty much built. It's back half suspension, race suspension. It had wheelie bars on it, the whole nine. It's got a big block 496 motor in it. He don't think it's very fast and he don't really know what's all done to it. He just got the truck, but it's a badass truck. So we're gonna line them up tonight. We're gonna let them rip and uh, hope Frostbite can hold her down. But well, I don't know, we'll see. That truck's definitely built for racing. So let's see what happens. <laughs> What's up guys? All right, so we are at Atlanta Dragway and Frostbite's here. We got my neighbor's new truck here. It's its first outing. He has absolutely no idea what's gonna happen with this truck going down the track, but we're hoping for a good number. The truck's definitely badass, guys. It's got a 496, big block in it. It's dark, can't really see nothing in here right now, but truck is awesome. Suspension's done on this truck. It's been back halved. It's tubbed. It's got big ass tires in the back. It did have wheelie bars on it as well. He did take the wheelie bars off because I don't think we're going to need them. But this truck is awesome. Fuel cell in the bed, the whole nine. It's going to be absolutely nasty when he gets this truck dialed in. But we're going to run them. We're going to have fun. That's all that matters. And hopefully we bring them back home still running <laughs> so that's the game plan frostbite's gonna be running basically the same setup except for we're running on a hundred octane tune and we did raise the rpm shift points up a couple hundred rpm so we might see a little bit more boost and a little bit more timing on the hundred octane tune so we're gonna run that today see what happens i'm hoping to run at least the same numbers we ran in kentucky the da uh, when I checked a little while ago, it was pretty decent. Um, it was starting to get under a thousand. So we're, we should have fairly good weather. It's not hot out here. It feels good. I don't know how the track is, but I've been told it's not the best today. So we'll see what happens. Other than that, we're about to run these trucks down the strip. Stay tuned. I'm hoping that we hook. Um, I don't know. A lot of people saying that they're having a rough time out there trying to hook up tonight. So. I don't know, we're gonna try to do hell of a burnout and try to get a dead hook and see what she runs. But we about to run my buddy's uh, Chevy truck real quick. Should be pretty damn good race. But like I said, it's first time he's took the truck down the track. He has no idea what it's gonna do. He has no idea what the truck is even capable of running. Uh, the, guy, the guy he got it from never even raced it. Um, it was kind of like a, a trade of a trade of a trade and somehow like I said my neighbor ended up with the truck and uh, he's here for the first time to see what it does. The truck sounds awesome, definitely nasty, a lot of money's put into the truck. So we'll see, but I'm sure it's got some bugs, but we're gonna make it a hell of a pass. And uh, it's close, that's him right there. Sounds nasty, the cam in it sounds good. And again, 496 big block. The truck has been back halved on the ass end of it, so the suspension and frame's been cut. It's got full race suspension, coilovers in the back, and the whole nine yards, manual valve body transmission. Like, it's a legit race truck. It had wheelie bars on it. He did take them off recently. Um, but I, I believe when he got the truck, you know, whoever had it, you know, they probably slowed it down. They put a different motor in it or something, so. We don't know what it's gonna do, but again, we're about to run the hell out of them. So let's see what happens.
tune definitely needs some tweaking because we actually did hit it sounded like the rev limiter on one of the shifts it sounded like the shift kind of hung um, so that was a little bit screwy and uh, other than that it seemed like it was it seemed like it did okay so I don't know we're about to get the pass right now I did red light so that sucks I, it launched a little bit quicker than I thought and I red lit so It did hang in a shift. It, it, uh, I believe it was when it was trying to go to two. First gear kind of hung for a little bit and then shifted, and uh, it just kind of that slowed the truck down a little bit. So we got to work on that tune. That's the first time we ran on that tune. Um, so I'm sure we'll dial that in a little bit better and definitely run better on that tune up. Here's the pass for that one. Almost would it would have did 11. Like I said, if it didn't hang shift. So definitely there. We hooked up pretty decent for the track conditions today. We had tons of crashes, tons of people breaking stuff out there. It was absolutely by far the worst night of my life being at this track. Um, I sat here for about four hours today to get one pass today, which was this one. Like I said, we had a brand new Z06 Corvette go into the wall. We had one guy break an axle, the tire came off the car. And then he proceeded to drive down the track halfway and spill oil everywhere. So it's just a nightmare of absolute chaos today at the track. But we got a pass. We had fun. My neighbor got his truck out on the track for the first time and uh, got to run his truck. So that was awesome. And uh, end of the day, we went racing. That's all that matters. So as always, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to uh, tap the bell button for the notifications. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.